Veuillez vous lever. En question. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber hears testimony of a witness that is to TCW Aujourd'hui, Replace Judge Fence by Judge Rockin until such time he is capable of turning to the bench. And uh, this is in pursuant to Rule 79.4 of the CCC Internal Rules. Mr. M. Hoy, please report Hoy, the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. However, uh, Council Kevin Sander will Notre be a bit uh, late due to retard, traffic congestion, and the National Lead Co Lawyer for Civil Parties, Big Om, will be absent civil, for a full Kong week due to health reasons. Mr. Nunti is present Monsieur in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to testify today, that is to TCW 820, confirms that to the best of her knowledge, she has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused. There is no G and Q some pawn, or through any of the civil parties that admitted in this case, the witness took an oath before the Iron Club statue this morning, and she is ready to be called by the chamber. Thank you. President, thank you. Invité dans la salle d'audience. Le président, merci. The chamber now decides on the request chambre by Nguyen Chien. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chien. En effet, la chambre est saisie d'une demande de Nguyen Chien. Dated 14 date December 2015, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit Nguyen or Chien concentrate for long. Nguyen Chien invoque des raisons de santé, moins de dos, pour être effectivement pour justifier le fait qu'il ne peut demeurer assis trop longtemps. Et afin d'assurer sa participation des audiences ultérieures, il demande à pouvoir suivre les débats depuis la cellule temporaire du tribunal pour les audiences du 14 décembre 2015. His counsel has advised him about the consequences uh, of this waiver that it cannot in any account be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presently true or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nunti by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 14 December 2015, which notes that Nunji has severe back pain when he sits for law and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that Nunji can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. 
based on the above information ah, and pursuant to rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, le the Chamber grants Nunti his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audio visual means. The Chamber instructs the heavy unit personnel to link the proceedings to the rule downstairs so that Nunti can follow this applies to the whole day. Court officer, please oui, as a witness to the CW820 into the courtroom. Thank you. Merci. President, Le President. Good morning, Madame Bonjour, Witness. Madame le what is your name? Comment vous -vous? And uh, please observe the uh, microphone, Madame Veuillez, Witness. Madame, you should speak after you see the red light on the tip of the micro microphone. Again, what is your name? Avant de parler. Donc, comment vous -vous? Witness, my name le is Sen Chaim. Je m'appelle Sen Chaim. President, thank you. Le président, merci. And uh, do you recall when you were born? Vous souvenez-vous quand vous êtes Again, please uh, observe the microphone. Et veuillez attendre que l'on allume votre micro. President, uh, Madame Witness, do you recall when you were born? Le président, donc. Madame le témoin, vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? I was born in Réponse. the uh, Khmer year of Mommy. Dans Khmer de president, Mommy. how old are you this le year? Answer, I Quel am 79. Réponse, j'ai 79 ans. Question. And where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Answer. I was born in Zvayir. À Zvayir. Question. President. Is Zvayir a village or a commune? And which province is it located in? Ce village se trouve-t-il? And uh, it was part of Svai Chrung district, district de Svai Chrung dans la province de Svayarien. Question. Question. And where is your current address? Quel est votre address I actuelle? refer to the house where Je you are living in now. Où vous habitez aujourd'hui? And sir, so I am Réponse. still living right in Svai Je suis toujours à Svai Yir. Question. Question. And what is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? I Réponse. answer. I am a rice farmer. Je However, at present, uh, I am unwell, so Mais I don't suis, work in the farm. Je suis malade. Question. What are the names of your parents? 
question. Kao is my father's name and Chai is my mother's name. Kao and my mother's name passed away. Les deux sont décédés. Question: What is your husband's name and how many children do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? And again, Réponse. Madame Et Witness, please, sir, observe the uh, microphone. Madame le témoin, veuillez, je vous prie, attendre que votre micro only, uh, soit allumé. You should only speak when you see the red light on the microphone. Again, what is your husband's name votre and votre how many children do you have? Comment s'appelle votre époux? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Question, Réponse. answer, we have two children. Nous avons deux enfants. Question. Question and the name of Et your mari? husband. Comment s'appelle-t-il? Answer. Tim Pan. Tim Pan. The greffier made an oral report that, to your best knowledge, you are not related by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, Nunchi and Kyushin or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is this information correct? And so, that is correct. I am telling the truth. And I was answered that question as well. On m'a déjà posé cette question. Question: Have you taken an question. oath before your appearance avant dans la in salle this chamber? I mean, have you taken an oath before the Ironclad statue located to the east of, of the chamber? Qui se trouve à l'est de cette salle d'audience? And uh, yes, Réponse. I oui. have. President, Le President. The Chamber now wishes to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Madame Sunchime, as a witness in the proceedings before de the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. As for your obligations, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except where your response or comment to those questions que may incriminate you. Nature, and you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, vu, remember, experience or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions vous avez en that a bench or a party pose to you. And Madame Sun Chen, Madame Sun Chen, have you been interviewed by investigators of the office of the co-investigating judges? Co if so, how many times? Le cas combien de fois? Answer: Réponse. Twice. Deux fois. Question. Question. You provided the interview, the interviews twice, and when and where? Have you entendu deux fois? Answer. Où et quand? Si vous vous en yes, I do. Uh, it was oui. right in my house. C'était chez moi. Question. Question. And uh, when was that? À quelle date ces entretiens ont eu lieu? And uh, no, I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. And Question. Madame Sunchime. Madame Sunchime. Do you know how to read and write lire et écrire? the Khmer language? And uh, I Réponse. never attended uh, any school. Je ne suis jamais allé à l'école. Questioned, and Question. before your appearance this morning, avant d'entrer dans la salle d'audience, have you had your written records uh, read aloud to you? I refer les to the two interviews that you said uh, you provided at your house. Ou les procès-verbaux de ces deux entretiens que vous avez donnés. 
Chez vous. And so, yes, uh, they were read oui, aloud to me. Question. Question. And to your best knowledge Et and recollection, can you tell the chamber whether the written record of your interview si consistent uh, with your answers you provided to the investigators uh, at your house? Chez vous? Answer. Réponse. I told them the truth uh, at my house, and that's what I said. Sont venus chez moi. President, my question to you is that after you la, have la the written est, records of your interview, si uh, read aloud to you, de ces auditions, do the statements correspond to the answers you provided to the investigators at your house? Chez vous. Answer. Réponse. Yes, they were read aloud oui, to me. On me les a lus. President, thank you, Madame Sunshine. Le président, merci, Madame Sunshine. And uh, pursuant to rule, 91 Vous avez la parole. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Mr. President, Your Honors, le Council. Merci. Bonjour, le good morning, Madam Witness. Les juges. Madame you, you have stated in your interviews um, that you lived, you've lived your Dans whole life in Sfai Ye village and commune. Toute votre vie dans le village et la uh, commune can de you tell us uh, when, uh, when it was what year that the Khmer Rouge uh, took control of Swai Yia commune. commune. I forget about the month and the year. I only uh, remember that the uh, Khmer Rouge killed ce dont je me souviens, a lot of que people. Les ont tué beaucoup de gens. My husband uh, worked at the uh, commune Mon level and his colleagues de la told me that many people que les were all killed. Personne President de tous tués. Madame Le Witness, uh, Madame please Le listen to the question je carefully. You la question will be asked many questions regarding what you are going Avec to say. On va However, initially, you may be asked a bit about your background. Il est possible que and please, début, respond on vous precisely and briefly de context, to the question. And de if concise, you do so, it means your scheduling for one day will be concluded. Otherwise, it may uh, Continue. Qui permettra votre so please, de ne durer seule respond journée, sinon, uh, briefly and precisely to the question. Précisément et brièvement aux and deputy co-prosecutor, co please repeat your question and make it uh, simple. Et it seems that he doesn't seem to understand your question and provide a lengthy answer. Question, car elle a donné une longue Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. I understand you don't remember the year that the Khmer Rouge came into control in your commune. De uh, do you remember, was it closer uh, to Rouge the time of the coup against si King Father Sihanouk, uh, or was it closer to April 1975 when the Khmer Rouge uh, took, uh, took control in your commune? que les Khmer Rouges ont pris le contrôle dans votre commune. Ah. Réponse. 
I can only recall uh, the year of 1975. Uh, during the Khmer Rouge period, uh, was the district in which you lived, uh, was it known as Spy Trum, Trum District or as Mien Che Tmai District? Du district de Mien Che Tmai. It's Svai Trum district, le district in Svairium province. Dans la province de Do you know what Question. sector and zone that district was in during the Khmer Rouge time? Zone district se trouvait sous la période des Khmer Rouge. I did not réponse. know what zone it was in. Je ne savais pas dans quelle zone. It was not Preven province. Ce n'était pas la province de Preven. Do, do you remember Question. the sector number, the, the number of the sector du uh, in which secteur. you were located? Quel était le secteur dans lequel vous viviez? If you réponse. ask me the sector number, I, I, I did not know. Je ne connais pas le numéro du secteur. Does sector 23, Question. does that ring a bell? Sector 23, does that sound familiar to you? Vous rafraîchit la mémoire? Est-ce que cela vous semble correct? I réponse. could not recall it. Je I forget it. Je ne m'en souviens pas, j'ai oublié. Tell me a little bit about your village, Swai Yia village. village uh, how many people or families uh, lived there um, prior to April 1975? Do you remember that? There were 100 families. Il y avait 100 familles. And do you know how many of those 100 families, uh, how many people uh, in your village were Vietnamese? There were many of them. About three or four families. Peut-être trois ou quatre familles environ. Can you tell us a little bit about what you did, um, what work you were assigned uh, during the Khmer Rouge period? I did not do anything. I was assigned to transplant rice, this and there. It's up to the assignments. Did you work uh, on any dams? And if so, do you remember the names of any of the dams, uh, dams or canals that you worked on? I remember it's Preston Lay to the east of Swaichrum Pagoda. I want to uh, ask you uh, about some of your family members uh, who had positions in the Khmer Rouge, uh, starting with your older brother, Sin Chun. Can you tell us? Uh, 
when your older brother Sin Chun, when he joined the revolution, and what positions, what did he do uh, in the Khmer Rouge? I, that, I don't know about his position. Yeah, he, he, he worked. I just know that he worked. And he had some friends. Et qu'il avait des amis. Your older brother, Sen Chun, uh, did he live in Svai Gia commune during the Khmer Rouge period, or was he based elsewhere, somewhere else? He was at a different place at Krasangja. And do you know what he did there? In the old regime, he was also a rice farmer. But later on, he, he joined it and then he stopped doing rice uh, plantation, uh, transplanting. Uh, in uh, an interview you gave with the DC CAM organization, uh, you were um, shown uh, a copy of your brother's revolutionary biography, and I, I want to read a few excerpts from that and ask you some questions. Um, this is document E3-7526, E3-7526, um, bi the biography of your brother Sin Chun, revolutionary name Chun, uh, born the 28th of October 1940 in Svai Yia village. Uh, in the section of his biography relating to siblings, this is ERN Khmer 00079576, uh, English 00324095, a French 00728266. Um, in, in your brother's biography, he says there were four siblings in your family, three male and one female. And in paragraph two, uh, he wrote the following about the occupation and class of his siblings. I quote, quote, my sister farms patties and her husband joins the revolution. My third brother is a poor peasant farming patties. My fourth brother joins the revolution and works as a medic at a military secretariat." Uh, end of quote. Um, Madam Witness, did, did you have a younger brother who was a medic, uh, and what was his name? Where did Sen Chuk work as a medic? Où travaillait Sen Chuk en tant que membre du personnel médical? He worked at uh, Watney Road Pagoda. Il travaillait à la pagode de Watney Road. Was that the Sector 24 hospital? Did your younger brother work as a medic in the Sector 24 hospital? Yes, it was Sector 24. 
going back again to the uh, biography of your older brother, Sin Chun, uh, in paragraph number 10 of the first section of his biography, your brother wrote the following uh, about how it was that he joined the the Khmer Rouge, the Communist Party of Campuchia, quote, I joined the party on 26 October 1970 in Chanra village in Ba Phnom District, Region 24. The introducer was Comrade Chakri, end of quote. Uh, who, who was Chakri? I did not know him. I only heard his name from my brother. Was this the uh, person, uh, Chan Chakri, uh, who was a military commander in the East Zone? Yes, that was him. Réponse, oui, lui. Yeah, he's the mili he's the soldier in the East Zone. Un dans la zone no. we'll be... President, President. Uh, Council Victor Cope, you Maître have the floor now. Uh, thank you. Um, and good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Um, I have a request for a small request for clarification. Um, it took a while, but we needed to do some research. Uh, meanwhile, um, and that is, I heard the prosecutor say in a very early question whether her district was in Sector 23. Um, I had understood her testimony to be that her village was in Sector 24. Um, we weren't sure, but now when reading E3 slash 7, 5 to 6, um, in the English version it says um, village in Bar Phnom district, um, division 24, but the uh, prosecution read probably correctly, um, read um, sector 24. Um, so it seems to be a bit confusing, but I would like to hear from the prosecution whether he thinks the village is in sector 23 or 24. I'm happy to give my understanding. It's, it's, it's clear that the district in which the witness lived was sector 23. Um, let me refer you to a document in which you can see that. Um, if you look uh, at uh, S21 list uh, E3 slash 2010, you'll find a section on Sector 23 uh, and, and you'll find specifically the district of, of this witness. It's confirmed in another, other locations. My understanding is that her brothers uh, worked in sector worked in a different sector in sector 24. So that's my understanding for what it's worth. Uh, if I may proceed, Mr. President, um, Madam Witness, do do you know do you know how your brother, uh, who was introduced to the re revolution by Chan Chakri, do you know how your brother knew him? They were friends. They were in the same occupation. Ils avaient la même occupation. Uh, in your uh, interviews, Madam Witness, you also Madame talk témoin, about uh, some other Khmer Rouge leaders that your brother knew. Rouge, uh, you identify specifically uh, Tachuk, uh, Kao Mia, Kao Mia, and a person named who you refer to as Ta Tok. Que vous désignez sous le nom de uh, who, who were these people? Tachuk, 
Pachuk, Kaumia and Tatoch, and how did your brother Tatoch. know them? Et comment votre frère les connaissait-il? They were my relatives. Their house were close to mine. That's why I knew them. Leur maison était proche de la mienne. C'est ainsi que je les connaissais. When you say that they were relatives of yours, in in your interviews, you've indicated that Kaumia was a relative. Uh, the others were people who lived uh, in your village and were close to your family. Uh, is that correct? And can you tell us how how you were related to Kao Mia? They belong to uh, my my cousins, and she's now 90 years old, and she's still alive. What was Kaumia a, a blood cousin of yours, or was he a second or more removed cousin? Un cousin germain ou un cousin plus éloigné? Yes, he was my cousin. Question, oui, c'était mon cousin. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Tachuk and Kaumia? Uh, what, what kind of people were they? Uh, how, how well did you know them? Et comment les connaissiez-vous? Les connaissiez-vous bien? I knew them because Tachuk taught my brother. He was my brother's teacher. And what kind of person was Tachuk? Was he a good person? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what he was like? He was a good person. He was a very good person. What was Tachuk's position in the Khmer Rouge? Quelles étaient les fonctions de Tachuk sous les Khmer Rouge? I did not know what his position was. I knew only that he was uh, killed. Do you remember it, whether he was the, sec the secretary, the chief of Sector 24? Does that ring a bell? I could not recall. What, what about your relative, your cousin Kao Mia? Do you know what his role or position was in the Khmer Rouge? I did not know his position either. He was at Phnom Penh. And he was also a teacher. And he also taught my brother. So, but I did not know what was his position at that time. Thank you, Madame Witness. Uh, continuing in your brother's biography, paragraph number 11 of the first section, uh, he wrote the following description of the positions that he held uh, after joining the revolution in 1970. I quote, quote, after the coup, upon my first arrival, 
Lorsque I was assigned a village début, chief. La Later on, I was Ensuite, the district committee. Then I joined district. the army Après, being the company committee. And after that, I became cela, the battalion committee. Later on, I have been the regiment committee. Uh, end of quote. Do you remember um, when your brother uh, joined the Khmer Rouge Army? Uh, did, he, did he engage in combat with Lon Nol forces? Do you know where he was stationed uh, in the war against Lon Nol between 1970 and 1975? Where, where was your brother during that period? I did not know about the combat. No. I knew that he started to work in Sector 24. And I, but I did not know what was his position in that. And later on, I heard that he was killed. I also had, had uh, doubt myself. How, how often did you see your brother, your older brother, Sin Chun, in 1975 and 1976? <laughs> President, there was no President, interpretation, interpretation in Khmer. President, uh, there, there was no interpretation in Khmer for the question by the deputy co-prosecutor. So uh, please uh, repeat your question. Uh, yes. Um, your brother, um, how often your older brother, Sin Chun, uh, how often did you see him in 1975 and 1976? Uh, I met him twice when he came to join uh, my sister's wedding. And I went to see him once. Je suis allé le voir une That's fois. all. Tout. And can you tell us about the time that you went to see him? Where, where did you go to see your brother? And what was he doing at the time? I cannot remember when I went to see him. Où je suis allé le voir. I only remember that I went to visit him once and he came to join the wedding once. You, uh, in your DC CAM interview, Question Madam Witness, this is E3 slash 7526 at French ERN 00746949, Khmer ERN 00185370 through 371, no English translation of this part. Um, in that interview, you indicated that after 1975, your brother was a chief of the region or sector army uh, based in Ba Phnom. Uh, does that refresh your memory? Was your brother uh, a uh, chief of the sector the 24 army in Ba Phnom district? Yes, but I 
réponse. Can I remember? Oui, mais je ne m'en souviens pas. Let me turn to your, your husband, um, madam. Um, your husband, Tien Pan. Pan. Um, when were you and your husband married? Quand vous êtes -vous marié? It was in the Khmer year of Dragon, Réponse but I could not work it out what year it was. Mais je ne saurais vous dire à quelle année cela correspond. I cannot remember what month and je year it was. I remember only that it was in the Khmer year of Dragon. Uh, he's uh, 77, 77 years old. Il a 77 ans. Let me ask you this. Did, did you and your husband have a traditional a Cambodian wedding or did you have a revolutionary marriage conducted by uh, Ankar? My, my wedding was based on Khmer tradition, Réponse. not the revolutionary way. And your husband, uh, what was his uh, position in the Khmer Rouge uh, in Svai Yia commune? He was the commune committee. Réponse. était le comité de commune. Do you remember when he was appointed uh, the chief of Swai Yia commune? It was in 1976. Who, who was it that appointed your husband uh, chief of Swai Yia commune? Question, et qui a nommé votre mari chef de la commune de Soye? I cannot remember Réponse, who appointed pas. him. I told him that uh, do not uh, do not uh, work much because uh, it could be it. it do not uh, try to that position because it could be dangerous. Je lui ai dit de ne pas trop en vouloir et de ne pas essayer d'obtenir ce poste parce que ça Do you remember who the district secretary was that your husband reported to? Du nom de secrétaire de district à qui votre mari faisait rapport. The district ah. Chief of Swairiang, he was Ta. I could not remember the name of that Ta. I cannot remember his name. I knew him at that time, but now I cannot recall his name. Let me just uh, refresh your memory. Um, with an excerpt from your DC CAM interview, E3-7526, French ERN 00746966, Khmer 00185388, no English. Uh, you stated here that the chief of the district was Q Samit, or Samit. Uh, does that uh, uh, ring a bell? Was he the district chose? chief? Était-il le chef de district? Yes, I, I can remember now. Oui, His name is Ta Samut. Ta Samut. C'était son nom. We've uh, talked about your husband, who was the 
Svaya Kamin chief, your older brother who was in the sector military, and a younger brother who was a medic at the sector hospital. Can you tell the court what happened to your husband and your two brothers during the Khmer Rouge regime? There were not anything said the witness. Il n'y avait rien, a dit le témoin. I'm asking about your husband and your two brothers. Je vous pose des questions au sujet de votre mari et de vos deux frères. Your two brothers, Sen Chun and Sen Chu. What happened to them during the Khmer Rouge period? Did they survive and live? Ont-ils survécu? Réponse. No. No. They are dead. Ils sont tous morts. How, how did they die? Comment sont-ils morts? They were taken away and killed. I did not know where they were killed. Je ne sais pas où ils ont été tués. Do you remember Question. what year it was uh, that your brothers uh, and husband were taken away and killed? Dans laquelle votre mari et vos frères ont été emmenés et tués? As for my elder brother, uh, my husband was taken in 77. However, my elder brother was taken first to uh, Chukai Mountain. Dans la, à la montagne de Chuka, Do I understand your, your older brother was the first Votre one who aîné. was taken away? Is that right? Yes. Oui. And how long after your uh, older brother, um, how long after he was taken away was it that your husband uh, was arrested and taken away? Combien de temps après que l'on ait emmené votre frère aîné a-t-on emmené votre mari pour être exécuté? That happened. My husband was taken away after my brother. My brother was taken away. Après que l'on ait emmené mon frère aîné. My husband was taken away probably in late 77. Sans doute à la fin de 1977. Okay, let's start with your older brother, uh, Sin Chun. Question. Uh, how did you How did you learn that your older brother uh, had been taken away? I was told that my brother Chun was taken away. Que mon frère Chun avait été emmené. Do you remember who, who told you or vous how you vous learned? Dit? Vous souvenez -vous comment vous su? It was uh, Sim who Sun was a member of the commune qui committee. Était membre du comité de commune. Did Sim say anything about why your brother was taken away? Pourquoi votre frère avait été emmené? I asked him why my brother was taken away and killed, and he said that he didn't know the reasons at all. We talked earlier. Uh, Madam Witness, about how your 
older brother was introduced to the party by uh, Chan Chakri uh, and how he uh, was taught by uh, Tachuk. Um, before your brother was arrested, do you remember what happened to Chakri, Tachuk, and your cousin Kao Mia? I did not know what happened uh, to them. In fact, he rarely stayed at home and en fait, only later when I learned that uh, he was maison. killed. Et ce n'est que plus tard que j'ai su qu'il avait été tué. Do, do you remember being told by your husband about vous -vous que votre uh, mari the arrests of Chakri and Tachuk? Ta Chakri uh, and do you remember what your husband told you? Vous -vous de ce que vous a dit votre mari? Ma I referred uh, to a person who worked uh, with my she husband at the uh, commune level, il y avait une personne qui who, travaillait avec mon mari uh, au niveau de la commune that. qui m'en a parlé. I want to read uh, a excerpt from the interview you Je gave to the uh, investigators at OCIJ. Que vous avez eu avec les enquêteurs uh, du bureau des coûts from document E3 document E3 slash 7794. E3 slash 7794 at Khmer 00249169161 uh, English 00251405 uh, said. Voilà ce que uh, vous avez dit OCIJ statement, dans quote, ce procès verbal d'audition. I learned through my husband that Pol Pot or Ankar Pol Pot ou had arrested Ta Chakri, Ta Chakri, the military commander of Sector, sector 24, and Ta Chuk, the Sector 24 secretary, secretary du and 24. had killed them. Et qui les avait tués. In late 1976, I heard through base cadres that Hunim had Rabaz, also been arrested Hunim by Ankar si and par had Ankar been taken away et avait and été killed. Et tué. At the same time, my older brother Sen Chun, who was a connection of moment, Ta Chu, had disappeared about Chuk, one month after un mois Hunim. Environ après Hunim. Uh, end of quote. Fin de citation. Um, does that refresh your recollection? Do you remember at all being mémoire. told uh, about the arrest of Chakri and Chuk by your husband? Votre mari qui vous a parlé des arrestations de Chakri et de Chuk? I forget Réponse. about that. Je l'avais oublié. However, it did happen at the time mais cela s'est produit à l'époque and i was afraid upon hearing that and i tried to work as hard as i could cela j'ai essayé and de travailler très dur and always reminded me to be uh, very uh, careful me disait toujours and de faire très attention et de working. me concentrer sur mon travail do you remember how Question. long after Tachuk's arrest, uh, how long it was after that, that your brother, Sin Chun, uh, was taken away? Et l'arrestation, ou plutôt, et le fait que l'on ait emmené votre frère aîné, Sin Chun. I cannot recall that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. However, First, my other brother was arrested. Mon frère then, été arrêté Tachou, and then, Tachou, Chakre. Puis Chakre I cannot ensuite. recall the passage of time in between the arrests. 
Previously, I recall it, but Avant, now je I, I don't. Mais aujourd'hui, je n'y arrive pas. Let, let me see if I can help, help you out a little bit with some dates, um, Madam si je peux Witness. Vous aider un peu avec les um, you told OCIJ vous avez dit um, du des that des it futures. was one month after Hu Nim's arrest après de uh, Hu Nim. that your brother, your older brother, uh, was taken away. On a emmené votre frère. Um, we have records from S21 of when some of these people de were arrested. Nous indique quand uh, ces this is from ont document E3 slash 342, uh, the OCP revised S21 list. Des uh, it records that uh, Sector 24 Secretary Chuk, whose full name was Sus Nu, was arrested Nous and entered S21 uh, on the 28th of August, 1976. Uh, your cousin, Kao Mia, was arrested and entered S21 on 20 September 1976. Uh, and Hunim um, was arrested uh, about a half a year later on the 10th of April 1977. Uh, so, uh, if, as, as you told OCIJ, your brother was arrested one month after Hunim, uh, that would put his arrest around mid-1977. Uh, does that sound right? Was, was your older brother arrested around mid-1977? Or do you think it was earlier or later than that? It was uh, the, uh, in the early part of the year, and as for my husband, he was arrested at uh, the uh, latter part of the year. Now, your older brother, his biography uh, indicates that he had five children, uh, three sons and two daughters. Uh, what happened to your older brother's wife and children uh, when he was taken away and disappeared? Actually, réponse. nothing happened to them. Even Même his wife uh, didn't dare to cry. Même son épouse n'a pas osé pleurer. We're Question. in your DC Cam interview, uh, E3 7526. Uh, at French ERN 00746950, a Khmer 00185372. Um, you indicate that uh, your older brother's wife and children were sent uh, west to Persat uh, after his arrest. Uh, does that refresh your memory? Uh, what can you tell us about um, what happened uh, to uh, your brother's wife and children when they were sent away to Persat? In fact, I forget that Je vais they cela. Uh, were sent there. On les a envoyés là-bas. Did, did they survive? Question. Ont-ils survécu? Y Réponse. Yes, they do. Oui. And she is still living. However, uh, two vivant. of her children passed away. Sont We've talked about um, Kao Mia 
your cousin. Um, the S21 records indicate he was arrested and sent there uh, on the 20th of September 1976. Um, do you know whether any of his uh, family, immediate family members, uh, his wife, his children or siblings, were, were any of them also arrested? Uh, who was a teacher, he had a niece, and in fact, I have uh, many relatives and I cannot recall them all. My question, Madam Witness, was was any of Kaumia's uh, immediate family, his wife, his children, his brothers or sisters, do you know whether any of them were arrested? I uh, did not know about his wife. And I knew that uh, they had uh, children, but I didn't know about them. I knew that he and his uh, younger brother, who had a, a daughter, and uh, they were taken away and killed. President. Thank you, Deputy Co-Prosecutor. The time is appropriate for a short break. We have a short break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties and invite her back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now recessed.